Eye floaters are caused by changes in the anatomy and structure of your eye, specifically changes inside the vitreous. The vitreous is a gel-like substance that fills the space between the lens and the retina of the eye. Without the vitreous, the eyeball would not be able to maintain its shape as a ball. The vitreous of the eye is mostly water, but it also contains collagen and hyaluronic acid, which gives it a transparent and gel-like consistency. As we get older, the vitreous starts to become more liquid-like. This process is called synuresis. This is actually a natural aging process that leads to the breakdown of collagen fibers inside the vitreous and makes them clump together. These clumps then float around and cast shadows on your retina. And it is these shadows that we see that are the floaters. Because it is a natural aging process, there's really no way to stop the development of floaters. But there are some treatments that can be done if floaters are really interfering with your life. Another key event that contributes to floaters is something called a posterior vitreous detachment or a PVD. This happens when the vitreous shrinks away and pulls away from the retina, which is a thin tissue that lines the back of the eye. While this is also a common part of aging, a PVD can make existing floaters more noticeable and it can even create new ones. Sometimes a PVD leads to the formation of a specific type of floater, which is known as a Weiss ring. This appears as a circular or donut shaped shadow in your vision. This happens when the vitreous detaches right at the optic nerve head. Floaters can have many different shapes. Some people see them as specks, threads, or cobweb-like shapes. They can move in and out of your field of vision and they can seem to drift away when your eyes move. In addition to aging, floaters can also be caused by other things. Inflammatory conditions like uveitis release inflammatory debris into the vitreous. Also, bleeding inside the eye, which can often be caused by diabetic retinopathy or trauma, can result in blood cells floating inside the vitreous and casting shadows on the retina. More serious cases, such as retinal tears or detachments, can also lead to the sudden appearance of floaters. When the vitreous pulls too strongly on the retina during a PVD or as a result of other conditions, it can tear the retina and detach it from the back of the eye. This is considered a medical emergency and it's often accompanied by flashes of lights or a shadow or a curtain in your vision. Floaters themselves are usually harmless and luckily over time, floaters will become less noticeable as your brain adapts and learns to filter them out through a process called neuroadaptation. But if floaters are persistent or significantly disrupt your vision, treatment options are available. One type of floater treatment is a vitrectomy. This is an eye surgery that involves the surgical removal of the vitreous gel. Another option is called laser vitreolysis, which uses lasers to break up the floaters. There is also new research into dilute atropine drops that could be helpful as well. Ask your doctor about treatment options if your floaters are really causing an issue with your day-to-day -day function. While most people can just get used to their floaters through neuroadaptation, some patients are bothered enough that an intervention can really help them. Remember to subscribe to the iFacts channel below and we'll see you in the next video.